This coil weighs about 3,000 pounds, which is about one car's worth of steel. And 78% of our material comes from recycled steel, mostly from cars. Anytime you build this metal, it is what makes it stronger. And so that, that's the, the whole concept behind this. And that's what this does. It bends the, the metal into the studs or track that we need. This coil right here, if you took two of these coils, which is about two cars, you can build a typical thousand square foot house. So that's a pretty compact way to move material in a marketplace. The same type of material would fill this room in wood, easily fill this room in wood. So it, there are some benefits to how we use it. And obviously space requirements, it's a lot lighter. We can, right now we can send three to four houses out on one truck. You couldn't get close to that in wood. In, uh, in Austin, Texas, if you go down there, I think it's, uh, I think it's Sabine, but anyway, there's, there's one of the cities that, uh, Commercial Metal, CMC, they actually, they, you can see the process of a car literally getting chopped, and then an hour later, it's in the melting pot, an hour later, after it melts, it's in billets, and it's ready to go to flat core. New Orleans is, is the, the one place in the world that probably benefits most from steel. It has every beneficial factor, which is termites, fire, wind. You can wind rate the building a lot easier than with wood. Black mold or any kind of mold. Steel is, is a great product. One thing is it's, it's long-lasting. You have very little maintenance with it. You know, with wood, wood moves from the day you put it up, so you have a lot of, you have to fill cracks and stuff in the ceilings and the tape and bed and you have pops. A lot of that stuff is just, it's cosmetic, but it is very aggravating. The number one issue that, that custom home builders have from warranty is, is cracking of sheetrock and tape uh, and, and nail pops and stuff like that. So that's what they have to come back in the house more often than anything else. With steel, it's dimensionally stable, so once you get it into the house, you get your sheetrock attached, it's there. It's not moving. So that part is good. It's, it's got any, the life cycle is estimated between 265 years to 600. Wood two by four, you're going to lose 20 to 30 percent of them to waste. You're not only going to buy them and stock them. Now you have to cull them, and now you have to haul them off. So you have to pay to haul them off too, which you do. And a typical house now is two to three thousand dollars worth of haul off expense. Well, it, a guy, in fact, over in uh, Lafayette for building houses, and typically he can do two houses, finish two houses, and clean up with one in the back of his pickup. There's just no haul off. Yeah. So that, that's a, and you know, people forget that that is part of the overall equation. The actual member may be a little bit, 15, 10, 15% more, but when you look at the overall, the, the cost savings in insurance, no waste, no, uh, no theft, you don't have that stolen, people don't know what to do with it. Um, you know, you go through the whole litany of, of benefits and you, I get really pretty close every time. You know, when you nail something, uh, the pull strength, if you, I don't know if you ever pulled a two by four off of a bottom plate, but the pull strength of a nail is about 47 pounds. In other words, it only takes 47 pounds to pull up on it. When you run screws in from the side, which is what we do, the shear value to break that screw is about 300 pounds. So now you have 600 pounds of strength to pull off the bottom plate mm -hmm. versus 80. That's a big difference. Yeah. You know, that, that's the difference between wind at 60 mile an hour causing damage and it taking 130 mile an hour to cause damage. That's a big difference. The biggest downside um, is, is, is really the talent available. Um, it, when you look at it, there, there's, there's two issues that they bring up. One is thermal conductivity, which is in this area is not is meaningless. If you're up in Minnesota, it starts becoming important. Down here, it's fairly meaningless for the thermal conductivity. Uh, and that's just because the outside air has a tendency to move through the steel faster than it would through wood. But down here, you have very little efficiency loss to the wall system anyway, and because we give a, a thicker wall system, because we give a 5 8 inch thick wall, which lets you do an R19 bat versus a 2 by 4 wall for the same cost, we can get more insulation in it, so it actually becomes more efficient. Um, the, the other one is, is that you don't have a lot of trained crews versus wood. You know, wood's been around a long time, and you have wood crews that are available to put them up. Here, I'm the president of the Greater South Steel Framing Alliance, and that's what we do is we train crews. 
all year, all we do, I mean, we, we train people how to use it, Nunez College is training, and then obviously uh, we also train the inspectors, so they know how to inspect the product. So, um, and not only Nunez, but uh, I believe Delgado has uh, courses now, and Louisiana Technical, uh, but I, I went through the, the Nunez program myself just to uh, see how they were training uh, the people there. Uh, to be able to, to interact with Nunes College and, and uh, placing some of the people in, in jobs that we have. 